Okay, so we need to talk. I've seen a few messages where they're like, yo, you dropped a bomb on us. And it's true, I dropped a bomb on you all because let's face it, this is the internet. You've seen channels where in the comments it's in complete shambles because someone has made a decision for themselves with their own life that other people feel so strongly about. And I understand the investment that some may feel when following content creators like myself online, but then I do not and will never understand nor support the overstepping of boundaries where comments are made that are extremely inappropriate and offensive. So because of the world that we live in, I was just like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna document it, and I'm gonna share it when I'm good and ready. And that's exactly what I did. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, obviously you can see that I had a surgical procedure. If you wanna know what it was, all the details, all the things. Watch the playlist on this because there are different episodes in this series and this is one of them, right? Talking about why, just getting some background on it in general, but certainly make sure you watch that playlist if you are curious. I did this for me. Okay, if you've been following my journey for any amount of time, then you know that I am a mom of a seven-year-old. He is my greatest blessing in the whole entire world. And afterward, I found out, which was really much to my surprise, that I had diastasis recti. I was dumbfounded. I was like, there's no way. Like my stomach doesn't look like the stomach of women that I know in real life and also have seen online that have shared that they have diastasis recti. So I was just like, what? And I didn't realize this. It was clear when I would suck in my stomach, contract my abs, and then let it go. The just, it's like everything was coming out of my stomach. And then when I would suck it back in again, it's like, oh, okay, we look a little decent. You know, extra skin, belly fat. But then I let it go and it was like, what? So watch this series, like I said, I've shared this on social over the years. I've talked about my weight. I was on and am still on keto. So my weight and the discussion around my weight and body image has always been a part of my brand because it is me, me, I am the brand, you know? And I have an amazing community of women who follow and a lot of which are, are or we're going through the same things. So I just love to share, but this was so deeply personal that I was like, I'ma just do this and I'ma hit it with it when I'm ready. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I did it. I cannot explain how exciting this is to now be living in a different body. It feels like I was renting. <laughs> for a long time and now I've I purchased. It feels like a whole new body. And obviously, you know, surgery is not for everybody, okay? This is not to say everybody's gonna get surgery. No, this is simply to share what I did, okay? And that is what matters. That's what matters. And that's why I was like, I'm gonna drop it when I'm ready. You feel me? Because it wasn't something that I wanted to get advice on. I was not asking nor looking for anyone's input. I simply was going to do what I knew was best for me, that I felt peace about in my heart. And I was gonna share it when I was good and ready. And that's exactly what I did. And I feel good about that because just all of the attention around it now would have been way too distracting to have to deal with during that first month of recovery or even the process leading up to it. Like, I don't wanna have to deal with all that because I didn't know what the outpouring was going to be. I didn't know if it would be overwhelmingly positive or overwhelmingly negative. Because of the social media world that we live in, people feel so free to say whatever they wanna say to us on the internet, forgetting or not caring that we are also human beings with a pulse. You feel me? When it's cold outside, I shiver. When it's hot, I sweat. We are the same person, but people either forget or just really don't care. And that is their prerogative. And that is why I chose to, to do this the way that I did it. I can't say thank you enough for allowing the space to be what it is. And this is just a great way to, for other people to feel free to live how they wanna live. I don't feel like people should police how other people live and how they feel. Yo, let people do what they wanna do. I've gotten so many messages from women who are like, I wanna do this for myself as well, but I'm scared of the judgment. I wanna do this, but I'm scared of what people are gonna say. I wanna do this, but I don't know how I'm gonna go about it. I've been thinking about this, but I've been so nervous because of this and that. And I understand being bound to people. I understand not feeling comfortable to move how you wanna move, change how you wanna change, evolve how you wanna evolve, because you are around people who are not trying to evolve, not trying to change, still got the same old mindset and love to talk mess. I understand that wholeheartedly. And that is why I am so glad that I am not around a lot of people. So I don't hear a lot of noise. I know for a fact that the demons have, have woken up. I know for a fact 
that the demonic forces have already discharged themselves from God knows where. But I don't care because I know that I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I know that for a fact. So I don't care that I have now entered the group chat. Honey, I've been in the group chat, okay? I've been in folks' group chats and now they're adding these pictures and videos to the chat. And what I really wanna say is, what y'all saying? Let me get my drink, I'm doing water because I'm still not cleared for a glass of wine, but. Pull up a chair, shoot. I wanna know what y'all saying. I already know that this is what it is, and I praise God that I have the toughness to just not give a you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is for me, you know what I'm saying? I think that it's so important to live how you wanna live. Life is just so stinking short. I no longer have time to live for people and what they will and won't say, what they will and won't approve of, what they will and won't sound the alarm on. The alarms can be ringing all around me 24, 7, 365, and I don't care. I felt peace about what I did. And I encourage anyone who feels like they want to make a change in their life in any way to do it, to do it because life is so short. I can croak right now. And when I do, I'm not going to croak thinking I was held back because of people. I will croak knowing that I lived my life and I did the daggone thing. You feel what I'm saying? So like I said, I didn't want out my outside opinions. I also, if you've been here, have been on keto for three years. There was one year I was strictly on it. I lost a lot of weight. I'll put a picture here. And I was so happy. Keto has been the only diet that has worked for me, hands down. Then the second year, I was just so tired. I was like, let me try to do a little carb. Like I wanna eat some more foods. Well, obviously that didn't work out. Cause carbs and my body just don't go together. You feel me? Low carb works best. Any kind of carb in the whole world, that ain't gonna work for me. Okay, my body is just a certain kind of body and I've learned over the past three years what works and what doesn't work. And a high carb diet ain't it, okay? So then the second year I was struggling. Then the third year I was like, okay, let me get back onto this a lot more strictly, a lot stricter, whatever. And I was a lot better and I lost a lot of weight. Now, when I say weight, I really mean inches because I don't weigh myself. I know from looking at myself and clothes that look differently on me. So I know that you've noticed, well, if you've been here over the years, like, wow, okay. I see what's up on. You know, it's just been real different. You feel me? Because I was a lot more serious and being back in the gym and just eating better and not as much and all of this stuff was really helpful. I also do fast. I normally will eat between 12 and six, maybe seven. I do sometimes eat sooner. I do sometimes eat later. I have had cheat meals here and there, but it's nothing that is consistent. You feel me? What has been consistent through this time is sticking to keto. If I'm consistently eating after seven and consistently eating breakfast every day at nine and and then consistently eating rice and stuff, then that's, I'm not, I wouldn't be where I am. So in addition to having the procedure, yes, I've been on a ketosis diet. That, and then during the recovery process, it really expedited itself. Because you really can eat whatever you want if you wanted to. You're not gonna look the most amazing, but you could. And I stuck to keto. I was like, no, 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 no. I want my results to be fantastic. So even through the recovery, I've been on keto because no ma'am, you feel what I'm saying? I recovered fast. I am grateful to the Lord Almighty because of it. If you are thinking about having this procedure, okay, you may see my progress and see how everything went down and think like, oh, you know, okay. I am very different as you saw. As you saw in episode two, you might be thinking, what? I would have never been on the camera. I would have never been walking around. I would have been passed out. I would have been, I would have been, I would have been. And that's what I mean. I am just a very different species. So what I can tolerate, I would find is a lot more than most people. Because even my doctor was like, yeah, you are an anomaly. <laughs> like people follow you, they gonna come in here and they gonna be like, what did I just do? Even on my post-op, which was day two of surgery, walking in and then when they saw me, the nurses and the doctor, they were like, what? You don't even look like someone that just had surgery. You feel me? And then even when I went in two weeks afterwards and like that, just every time they've been like, wow. Okay. Just in general, in general, like I've been to the stores, all this, and you would never know that I just had such a major procedure. I'm just a different kind of species. Okay. So if you are thinking about doing this, just know that your experience may be a lot more uh, regrettable, but I would never change it. I wouldn't change it. I would not change it for the world. I am so, so happy. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It really was not as bad as I thought it would be. And one of the main reasons 
reasons why I decided to add my experience to the library online of content surrounding these procedures is because in my research, I did not find many videos that were very raw and uncut. I'm sure they're out there, but I just didn't find them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, mm -mm, the girls need to know, you know? There's a lot that needs to be known, you know? And I just knew that there was going to be interest. And rather than answer hundreds of messages saying the same things, why not make a video and just tell you? But rather than tell you, let me show you right? It's one thing to say, yeah, and then when I got back, I felt like this, and then I had massages, and then I had to take this medicine, and then I had to wear this patch, and then I had to do this, and I had to walk around, oh, and then I was swollen, and then my tummy was doing this, and then I had this, and I had that, I had lumps and bumps. Why not just show you? Because if you're like me, many times seeing is better than just listening. So you see and you listen. You're like, oh, now I understand. So that if you do choose to do this procedure, which is not by force, but if you do choose to, you know, oh, okay, men, I did say this. Men, I did show me this, this and that. Because even in my vlog, I explained that I had ran across a woman who's, it, it just wasn't good. Watch my episodes. But you can tell she didn't know a lot and she had a lot of regret with her results at that time when I saw her and mine. And I was like, dang, see, this is what I'm saying. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about the surgery a little bit and just touch on a few things. Watch the episode series if you are interested in it. I will link it below. And of course, follow me on all socials and just follow along on the day to day. I will be updating you as the time progresses on different things that I think are notable for you to know about. But I really am grateful for all of your support. If you have any questions, leave them down below because I will answer them for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Yeah. Bye.